Hello everybody and welcome to another nightly read aloud with Dr. Ivy. Today is Thursday, May the 21st, 2020, and tonight marks our 49th nightly read aloud during school closure. My name is Trevor Ivy and I am a proud educator here in Sumter County, South Carolina, and like so many of my educator colleagues right here in my very own community across the state, our nation, and even the world are being asked to step up and out of their comfort zone to completely redesign teaching and learning experiences to ensure that our children remain meaningfully engaged during this challenging time when schools are closed, children are home, but learning must continue. To that end, I have dedicated myself to a nightly read aloud each school night that is recorded and posted on my social media channels at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And for our fourth night of the 10th week of our read alouds during school closure, I am taking us back to the beginning of when this all started with a read aloud titled, Bunny's Staycation. Tonight's read aloud is both authored and illustrated by Lori Richmond. Bunny's Staycation. Let's find out what it's all about. Mama is going away on a business trip. And Bunny doesn't like it one little bit. Mama won't be here for bedtime stories tonight, thought Bunny. But if I make the suitcase go away, maybe Mama just won't be able to leave. So then Bunny had an even better idea. Let's look at the pictures and see if we can tell what her idea may be. I'll just go with Mama. Uh-oh, what do you think she's going to do? Hmm, maybe get into the suitcase? Let's find out. Oh, Bunny, my love, my business trip, Mama says, is just for grown-ups. You and Papa can mark the days on this calendar. Today is Monday. I'll be home on Friday before you know it. That night, Bunny sniffles all the way through the bedtime stories that Mama gave. Papa, I wish we could go somewhere little bunnies go to. Let's do it, said Papa. We'll leave first thing in the morning. So the very next day, Bunny and Papa woke up very early. They had to get the car ready for their trip. And then they set off on a grand adventure. On Tuesday, they took a trip to the tropics. On Wednesday, they went to a wintry wonderland. Look at their trip. The tropics represented by the bathtub. Wintry wonderland with their snowflake pictures hanging in the kitchen. And on Thursday, they went on a safari adventure with the binoculars, the camera. But sometimes, even on the bravest adventures, the adventurers will miss their mother. Bunny love, Mama will be back tomorrow, said Papa, but let's make a welcome home sign for her. But then Bunny had an even better idea. For one more special adventure. On that Friday, Mama came home at last. Bunny then said, hurry, hurry, come inside. What do you think they have planned for her when she comes inside? Let's find out. Surprise. Surprise. 
We are going to have a campfire party just for you, Mom. What a very funny book about uh, a bunny family who has this uh, staycation while Mama Bunny goes off on her business trip, leaving uh, the little bunny and Papa Bunny um, at the house without Mom. And so they have a staycation, which I suspect, boys and girls, many of you have had your own staycations uh, sometime during the last 10 weeks that we have been uh, staying at home and doing all of our schoolwork and many of us working from home uh, for our jobs. And so it, it means, boys and girls, that you know, you don't have to go on these big extravagant vacations from time to time to have fun. You can have fun by having staycations and at your house and, and setting up decorations and having fun parties that may uh, look like uh, these adventures far, far away, but you're having fun at home, in this case, by being safe, and in Bunny's case, by having a memorable time with his father. So boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed tonight's Read Aloud Bunny Staycation. And before we say goodnight, before we brush our teeth, and before we wash our hands to get into the bed, let's take a moment to engage in our nightly reflection. You know our four questions. It starts with question number one. What was your most favorite part about today? Take a moment to share with your parent, your older or younger sibling, or your fuzzy friend who may be next to you. If no one is near you and you are alone, take a moment to share out loud to yourself. What was your most favorite thing about today? Question number two, what was your least favorite thing about today? Question number three, if you could go back and change one thing about today, what would you change? And question number four, what is one thing that you hope is going to happen tomorrow? Well, boys and girls, that does it for our nightly read aloud with Dr. Ivy during school closure. Remember, if no one has told you that they love you today, if no one has told you that they care about you today, I'm here to tell you that I love you and care about you so very much. I hope that you have a wonderful night and we'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the last night of our Read Alouds during week 10 of school closure. See you tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone.